It's nighttime here at Cadox Castle, but that doesn't mean you can't see us. We're going to go on ahead and show you how to make these, these wonderful things called light wands. They're wonderful, they're great, and they add a ton to your actual props that you're making. But let's go on ahead and show you how to make one here on Cadox Castle. So these light wands are really, really wonderful props. They're great. And in a lot of different games, whether it's Nero, Alliance, or even some other ones, there's spells that allow you to cast light because some of these events are happening during the nighttime and it's really, really a smart idea to carry a flashlight with you. A lot of times people just carry a flashlight and they're just like, oh, I cast light. But if you have one of these, they're really, really awesome to go ahead and create a different way to interact with the magical side of the world. But Rather than me just going on ahead and talking about it, let's get to building. Okay, so what we have here is everything you need to make yourself a really good light wand. And in that, I'm going to show you how to make one of these or one of these. This one's actually a little lighter. We're actually going to stop for a second and change the batteries. This will be good for you to see as well. This one was one of the first ones I constructed, and this one is actually made with uh, layers of plexiglass to resemble selenite, which is this natural occurring crystal. You can kind of see the similarities between the two. But the nice thing about these light wands is that you can, in theory, there it is, change the batteries in them, which is really, really a useful kind of nice thing to do. That way, your LED flashlight, like the ones you see at the bottom there, will always go on ahead and work for you. Now this guy looks like he's got a little damaged from running around being in my back pocket or one of my pouches, so, but that's okay. Cause that's gonna happen. And let's see if this guy shines brighter. Not any brighter yet. Well, hmm, might have to get a new battery pack for that, but still, still. Anyway, so what we've got are our two finished products and we've got everything we need to go on ahead and make you your own actual light wand. We have our light source, which would be uh, a little LED light, which you can actually go on ahead and pick up uh, from Amazon pretty cheaply. I think this one's like maybe six bucks at most. A small piece of PVC, some sandpaper, our uh, diffuser or what would be our illuminator and our adhesives, which is dripping all over my work table. No, not approved. Oh, and extra glue sticks just in case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this stuff away and we're actually gonna start building and doing the process of putting all these things together. So let's clear all this extra stuff away. And while I have you, let's go on ahead and do this. Now, this is actually, like I said in the intro, a great thing for, um, for any LARP that requires you to have some sort of light source. And if you notice, I have two here that are really, really different. One has more LEDs than the other one. And it all depends upon what you actually like to do. You might like to actually use more light and have like a different shape to it. If you look, this one has kind of like a bulge to it. And remember, you're gonna cover this so it doesn't look so modern. So you're going ahead and you get something a little bit more rustic. This is actually the same kind of thing that's in here. You can actually see the leather has, con or the pleather has conformed to the indents in the light. Um, so you can go on ahead and you'll get, you'll get something different, but the shape is totally up to you as to what you'd like to make. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy. And it's very nice little bright little LED that's really, really good. Um, and has an easy on off switch on the bottom. It unscrews just like the other one and pops right out and comes right back in. And it works beautifully. So what I also have next to this is my uh, spacer. 
I discovered this as I was trying to work with one of these when I built the original, which was this brown one is that while this fits inside your hand, it's nicer to have a little bit of extra space, a little bit of extra room to go ahead and do that. And this light is very diffuse. It wants to go everywhere as soon as it leaves here. So it's nice to have a little bit of extra barrel so you can go ahead and get light focused in a specific area. Now, before we attach this with our adhesive, we are going to go on ahead and scuff it up. That's what this sandpaper is for. Now, I like to do this just because the inside of this is very, very smooth, and we wanna make it rougher so the glue has something to stick to. So I just take this, rub it over the sandpaper a little bit, kind of smooth off the edge in case I need to. Pretty quickly, and it gets rougher. And the same with this side as well. I'm gonna flip this over so I get nice fresh sandpaper. And I'll do the same thing. Boom, nice and rough, nice and rough. And then I might actually wanna do that to the inside of this guy as well, just so I get a little bit of rough. I know it's the metal and it's not gonna do too much, but makes it a little rougher and a little easier to go on ahead and put together. Now, now that these are both kind of scuffed up and marked, so that way they can go on ahead and be put together, I'm going to glue on the PVC, hold it upside down, and boop, put this guy on top. The reason I'm doing that is so that gravity works with me rather than against me. So if I do it this way, put this down and go here, I'm, I'm kind of working against gravity because gravity's pulling down on this rather than using the weight of the battery pack and everything else to push down on this. Always, 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 always make sure that gravity is your friend, not your enemy. So I'm gonna take my adhesive and very carefully on the low setting, run around the outside. If a little bit of hot glue gets on the inside, that's more than okay. And we will be more than all right. I just take this and I swoop, just glue that right down to that spot. And the glue dries pretty quickly when it's on a low setting, so it cools down pretty quickly. So I can go on ahead and do this. Uh-oh, it, it dried too fast, ha ha! Nice thing is that I can come back when it dries that quickly and uh, peel it off relatively fast. I just have to be quicker this time. Talk less, work more. <laughs> That's what I'll have to do. Let me slap another glue stick in there so that way it's ready to go. Copious amounts of glue as I'm getting all dirty. And I like to take a little bit of the glue and run it on the outside. I will take another bead of glue and run around the outside and smooth it out with my finger because that just gives it a little bit of extra, extra adhesion. So it's adhering on this side as well as on the inside as well. And if you get a little bit on the inside, I don't know if you guys can see that without me turning the light on, don't wanna shine a light in your face. Um, you can actually see that there's a little bit of glue that's kind of leaked out and gone from the sides. So that's okay, because when we turn it on, there's gonna be a little beam of light that comes across, but we're gonna cover that up. But it's nice, because now I've got a little, uh, what would be called a top hat, if you were doing stuff in like lighting or something like that, on top of my little light wand. So let me run a quick bead of glue all the way around this and smooth it out with my finger. Remember to be safe when doing this. Make sure that your glue is nice and um, cool. So I give it just a second to kind of cool down. I'm watching it. Yeah, there we go. And now I can smooth it out a little bit. I've also been doing these for a long time. <laughs> So <laughs> part of me knows when hot glue is going on ahead. It also comes with being a, a, a technical theater professor. Um, so we'll go ahead and let that sit and dry and it's ready to go. Now, now comes the really fun part and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these, but we need our diffuser on top because now I've got my handle, right? I've got my piece that can doom, hold on my hand and it's all good. Now I just need to take my diffuser and put it on top. Now, you can get different kinds. I've got three to show you right here. Come on, hot glue, get out of here, get! 
And actually I'll do a fourth because this one here, this is actually plexiglass. It's layers of plexiglass that I then took a rotary tool to and just went on ahead and carved and carved and carved. Um, the next is gonna be a piece of amethyst, which actually is natural. Uh, this is actually a real piece of amethyst and it carves, carved to have points. This is a natural piece of quartz, piece of quartz crystal and this, will, this is occurs all over here on the east coast. And this stuff is wildly cool. Um, it's natural, I cleaned it with water and vinegar. Um, and then this is a piece of selenite, which this and this, this is the unnatural and this is the natural piece of selenite. When we take a diffuser and we put it on top, it'll actually change and light up. The amethyst looks the prettiest, but I'm not gonna use my amethyst, which uh, is very precious to me to do this. But if you wanna go to a rock shop, a gem or mineral, take your, your light wand, put it on the end, you can actually see the difference when you shine the light on it. And it might look really, really pretty. And you'll get a, a colored light rather than just something that diffuses it. See? Now you can look at that light and no problem. It just kind of diffuses it. And then finally, my, my personal favorite is always the selenite. Because it just lights right up. Makes a nice wand. You can put that right down in there. Hot glue on the bottom of this. Stick it in. And then it's, it's ready to go. But for today, we are going to be using our natural quartz crystal because I'm cheap. And this was free. Now again, it's just literally the same process where we put glue around the edge, stick this thing on, and then we take a little bit of hot glue and we fill in the gaps because if you look, it's not naturally you know, gonna be perfect. So you fill in the gaps with a little bit of hot glue and then smooth it over. That's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna allow for more diffused light on the sides. And it's also going to go on ahead and create more adhesion for your diffuser to go on ahead and be attached, okay? So let's go on ahead and put this together and then we'll, yeah, see what it looks like. You really don't know how these things are gonna look until you turn the lights out and that's always the truth. Because think about it, you're not trying to do this when it's bright and in daylight, you're trying to do these, these things when, um, or, or use these when it's dark out. So the best way to test if your light wand is actually working is to go on ahead and do it in a dark spot in your house, like a closet or something. Go into the closet with your light wand and turn, and turn the light, turn the lights out, and then turn the light wand on. Not that I'm advocating for anybody going back into the closet. Ha 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 ha! I'm funny. Uh, so this is drying pretty quickly. So I'm just going to take some and I'm going to put it on the sides, and I can sculpt it with my finger again, kind of trying to make it work. Work, work, Angelica. Work, work Eliza. Um, so, um, oh, there's a little spot right here. If you notice, this isn't taking me terribly long to do. It's not a, it's not a long build for a simple prop like this that really adds a ton to your kit. Because now I can go on ahead and I have this wonderful piece right here, and it lights right up. Whee! And it's nice and diffused. Yeah, I wanna make sure I'm not shining it in your face. It's nice and diffused, and the light's really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the, turn off the, f the stage lights, or the, the lights that I have right here, and let's see how this guy lights up, and let's see how bright it can actually be. So let me turn those big lights off. So there's still some ambient light. You can see the light on, on my uh, guy right here, but well, it lights right up. And now you can, well, the thing I like doing about this is using it like a flashlight, because that's the way it's intended. But if you look, oh gosh, hot glue everywhere. Look at that, it lit it up and I could see it, ha ha! Right, you can see that it really lights up. And when it's out, it's dark. But then, boop, it goes. The best way to also see this is if you do this as well, because we're gonna give a nice wrap cover on top of this. And um, we're gonna go on ahead and uh, cover the light so it doesn't shine through. And uh, you can do that pretty much with anything. But let me not tell you in the dark, let me just go on ahead and wrap it a little bit, and then you get the chance to see what the final product will be. All right, lights out. Okay, so here is our finished product. I had some scrap macrame that I went on ahead and put on, and you can see it still lights up. It's nice and, and bright for our little flashlight that's in there. And also, you can unscrew the bottom. Whoop, out comes my batteries, I can change them, slide them back in, and put this back on. Two things about the bottom. 
uh, because you can cover this in whatever you want. That's why I didn't show you how I covered mine because this is literally yours. You can see I did this one. I actually covered it in pleather and I stitched it with some sinew to really add some creativity to it. This one's just as good. And then this one was leather that's just, pleather that's just been glued um, on top. Now, a couple things. When you do the bottoms, always make sure that it's screwed in and then you do it, but make sure there's some sort of gap. You can see this one has a gap and there's a break right here in the macrame so I can unscrew it and screw it back together. Second thing is that you always wanna make sure, careful about covering the bottoms. I know if I covered the bottom in macrame, I wouldn't have this nice action that I can just do really fast. This one is pleather and it takes a little bit longer to click on. Click, 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 click. Click, click. So it just takes a little longer because the pleather kind of holds on to the switch a little bit. But other than that, it's really actually ready to go. Now, this one right here, I'm gonna say it again at the very end of the video, but I'm gonna say it right now as well. The first person on field that comes up and asks me, hey, where's that light wand from your video? Guess what? They get it. I literally just make these things and if you want a prop, all you gotta do is hunt me down and find me to go ahead and get it. If you see it here, so, and I'll let you know who gets it and kind of give them a shout out for the next for the next video. Okay, so if you guys go on ahead and liked this, go on ahead and make one of your own. They're really easy. Probably somewhere in the realm of like 10, 12 bucks to go on ahead and make a really cool prop that then suddenly you're not carrying around a flashlight that looks like this going, I summon fourth light, ha 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 You know, the kind of thing where as opposed to, you know, suddenly now you've got light. It's a little more diffused, which most LARPs require but then it also adds a lot to the world and suddenly being like, I summon forth my magic and ha ha, and then there it is. It's really, really good stuff. You can really kind of make it your own flair. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and happy building. Now that you know how to go on ahead and make your own light wands, you can see that these things are really, really useful. They're so great. They're cheap, they're easy. They fit into a pocket really nicely. And if you get the right materials, they can be really free. Cause I mean, you could scrounge around, find an old flashlight, find a piece of PVC and a rock from outside, depending upon where you live. And go on ahead and slap it all together with a bit of hot glue, you're ready to go. So I, as I said in the video before, I'm gonna say this again. The first person that comes to me and says, hey, where's that light wand from your uh, from your Kallax Castle video? Well, that's gonna be the one that I give to them. And then they can go on ahead and use it <laughs> to go on ahead and illuminate their LARPs at nighttime. So, hope this has been a very influ influential, hope this has been a very uh, beneficial video for you to go on ahead and make props of your own and realize that it's not hard to make them. So that way it can up your game and take you to the next level. As always, do gooder and just be.